Well, there she goes, our first ever fishing rod of the playthrough. It looks like we were able to get 42 fish, and we even happened to get a name tag, which you could say I'm very happy about. And speaking of things that I'm pleased about, I'm so happy with the area that we have here. It's the perfect start, with our pond and our tent and our wagon over here, along with our sailboat and our wonderful dock. But today we expand into new lands, which we'll talk about more. But as you can see, there's been a ton of progress made on the land of the happy campers. And so it's just about time for a round of wow, this is cool. 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 However, you sir are not so cool. Wow, this is cool. Wow, this is cool. It's all looking really, really cool. And I'm definitely itching to keep on making really cool things as well. But before we get to doing that, we have something very, very important to do. It feels so good to have found you once again, Stella. You are the bestest girl, and I can't wait to have you for Lotus SMP. And now that Stella is back in our hands, it's almost time to expand the kingdom. But before we take a look at the area where we're gonna build, we're gonna start on collecting some materials. People in therapy are often there. With people in their lives who won't go to therapy. I have a job, it's actually quite fulfilling. Though my hairline is thinning, I barely do anything else. I read self help books, I do meditation, walks in the woods, a new destination. Well, it may be raining, but it surely feels good to be home. We've been going back and forth for hours and hours from the Badlands. And if we open this chest right here, you'll see that we almost have a full double chest of terracotta. You see, as discussed, we're going for an Italian theme this season, meaning that we're pretty much always going to be running out of terracotta. We're also going to need some brown wool, so I'm going to steal a couple of cocoa pods from Draconis's tent. Of course, I'll get back to replacing the seeds, and hopefully he doesn't notice. And while we're still here on the island, I did want to give a quick showcase of Oscrafter Sims' incredible 
incredible tent. The scale of this build is just incredible, and as we approach on the left, you can see that we have Dumbo, which is really well done. I love the eyes, and I love the cap that we have on his head too. We can walk inside, and you'll see what an incredible interior. I hear lots of running water, and I think if we go through these trapdoors, we can head down. There might be some villagers in a huge storage area over here too. We've got a bed and an ender chest already, and one thing that looks super cool is these leaves that we have here too. I'm not really sure which leaf type it is, but it completely adds the perfect texture in order to make a little tree. And we have a wonderful arch that gives a beautiful lookout into the sea. We also have Spidey's camper van nestled in right here. The attention to detail is just incredible, and I know that Spidey would love to have this in real life as well. It's got the perfect look out onto the water, and a cute little interior that actually has some storage leading down below. <laughs> I just saw the sign too. We have Sim is handsome. He is a mighty handsome chap, I would agree. And my, I've had such a blast on this happy camper island so far. But in order to get our building plans into action, we're going to need a little bit more space. And although I had originally planned on staying where I ended up making that XP spawner, I think that I might want to move west, meaning that it's time to look for new lands. And look at that, just a random crafting table. Except wait a second, this is not okay. No, 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 no. This won't do, this won't do. All right, let's think about what we're gonna say to them. Dear sir or madam, you have committed a level C offense, incomplete destruction of terrain. You have one week to chop the above tree and restore it, or you will be subject to a fine from Oat. And you may be asking, Slip, what is Oat? It's the organization of aesthetic terraforming. Because in these beautiful lands of Lotus, you can't just destroy a biome and leave it 90% unfinished. I mean, not like I just did that with the Badlands biome, but I think that we need an organization to keep people accountable for doing things just like that. And so we'll talk more about Oat later. As for now, we continue our search to find a land to call home. I'm not sure whether or not this is Skipper's place, but it looks so cool. I love how there's one sign that says, do not steal my dog, please. You got it. I won't do it. And I'm in love with the mushroom that we have to the left. There's so much detail just fit into this one place right here. And I've never really seen these little mushroom heads before, but they're really cool looking too. Although I have to say this is not oat approved either. Well, there we go. Dear sir or madam, incomplete terraforming is a level C offense. You have one week to complete terraforming. Failure to do so within one week will subject you to a fine from Oat. Right over here, we happen to have the Super Skipper storage unit with construction pending. I'm glad that he put it on the sign because we might have had to subject him to another fine here too. And besides this area right here where he hasn't filled in anything, this area is looking pretty Oat approved. I just love the colors and I love the detail that we have with the build. And if we head inside, you can see that we have an interior right here too. And then we have the pooch as well. I wonder what his or her name is. We can head upstairs and I love the copper that we have all around. We have a little awning area right here with tons of awesome hanging signs and we also have a note block too with a bed. We can head up this door right here and then we have another look at what other people are doing around here. Which speaking of, I say let's go and take a look. We've got another portal right here and it says pineapple this way. Muffert must be over here somewhere. And then we have Cobb that way and we have Skipper that way. Hanging signs really do just make everything look so much better. And it looks like we have something over here too. And this house right here is definitely not Oat approved. We have a couple signs here. They say, Hey Muffert, thanks for agreeing to giving your land. Sincerely, Sugma. And there's nothing in here too. This is totally not okay. Now this time we have a level A offense, an incomplete build transformation. Please fix or remove by this date right here and failure to do so will result in a fine from Oat. We also happen to have something over here too. I guess that Seaman was not here. And what is tall when it's young and short when it's old? I do have a response to this one, but I can't really respond in a video. And we also have a sign that says don't build here. And although I thought this island was Oat approved, I did realize we have one dirt block that's just out looking here. Now this dirt block is a level D offense in a regular dirt block placement. Failure to fix by this date will result in a fine from Oat. 
it looks like this area is starting to come together as well. We have a ship right here, which is really cool. I'm wondering if they're going to put on some sails or something else later on. And then we have a dock right here, and we have some stutter farms that it looks like in the distance. We've got a pond with some fish in it too. They have a whole ton. And then a little enchanting area right here, and some more farms over in the distance. We have Bacock down here, and it looks like overall some really good infrastructure, and this place seems to be pretty Oda approved as well. Finally, someone's on the right page. Ladies and gentlemen, I think that we have finally found the spot. And man, does it look good. You'll see that we have this awesome valley where we can build tons of seaside Italian builds. And then eventually we'll get to working up on the hill too. We have a really pretty looking birch forest where we'll get to do plenty of work on the sides. And one of my favorite things is that we have this ravine right here where we can just sail right through and it gets us to the rest of the members of the Lotus SMP. For example, our area is going to be this area right here, but then we have Yogi and we have Seaman and we we have Cobb over here, we have Squid, we have Mafert, we have Skipper right here, Pineapple right on this island, and then we have Drift and Chan up here too. We head up to the coastline. I think that we can get a view from up top real quick too. Oh yeah, I think that this is totally the spot. And I gotta say, I cannot wait to build here, but I don't think we're gonna build in this area this episode. And I think that it might be a good idea to have the oat building pretty near spawn. So let's head on back to the island of the happy campers. And when we're ready to build, I'll check in with you then. and home sweet home. It feels really good to be back here. Although we're only going to be at the island for a brief moment, we can grab ourselves some of our diamonds. Because over here at the end of the path, over by Maddie's house, we have Shaden's enchanting tent. We have his mailbox right here and an awesome looking horse, but in this tent we have tons of different enchanting books. Or maybe not, he might be out of stock. But regardless, this is a really cool tent and we'll have to come back here to get a mending book at some point. And then I have one other special thing for Skipper. It sounds like Skipper's been looking for some donations for terracotta and so hopefully he'll be happy to see this care package but no more milling around ladies and gentlemen it is about time to get to building An official welcome to the organization of aesthetic terraforming. As you may be able to see around us, the entire idea behind this organization is to make sure that everything has been completed in an area. It's okay to leave the occasional space, but it has to make sense. And every part of your building area must have an idea or a purpose behind it, even if that purpose is only so that it looks good. This is definitely one of the wackiest builds that I've ever made. The roof is slanted in three different ways, and really every look at it is kind of just at an odd angle, which I think can kind of look a little bit weird if you're too close, but if we get farther away, you'll actually notice that it makes the roof of this house look really, really cool. It works especially well with the light work as the sun sets in the distance, and I think that we can head inside to take a quick look at the interior as well. And eventually, I'm going to decide to do something with all of this storage area. Maybe this is where players can deposit their finds. Although, if I'm being honest, the idea isn't just to find people, but it's to encourage everyone to make their area look as good as possible, or at least that's the way that I see it. We just have some random decorations to fill in the area and make it look unique and we have some pots right here with some shrubs inside as well and if we head out the back door of course we're met with the back of the island but with plenty more fish to catch it's just about time that we stuck our reel back in the water i'll be catching a fish for every lake on this video so if you've enjoyed please do consider leaving a like and we'll have to see what the organization of aesthetic terraforming does in the next episode <laughs>